A quiet night in this neighborhood was shattered four years ago with the sound of gunfire. About 11 o'clock, I think, one night we heard four shots came outside and had to call the sheriff's department. Nobody found anything that night. The next morning, somebody located the body. Santa Rosa County deputies responded around 7 in the morning on January 20th, 2016. We actually responded as a medical emergency because the person was found on the side of the road. And uh, one of our uh, investigators happened to be in right there in the vicinity of the, uh, of the location. He arrived on scene and it was pretty obvious that it was a person that was deceased. Alloy says that when they arrived on scene, it became apparent to them that she may have just been walking down this road, but she was found with multiple gunshot wounds throughout her body. This wasn't a random attack. You know, uh, that, that, that's one thing is we believe she knew who her attacker was. Um, we believe that she, they were either an acquaintance or she knew exactly who this person was. Brandy Christine Maples was 29 years old at the time and a mother to two children. Family, friends, and neighbors made this memorial for her. She seemed like a nice girl to me. She always spoke, said hi when she went by, and I said hi back. I'd given her a ride a couple times, and that's about all I knew about her. She lived around the corner here. Alloy says they've exhausted their leads. Every person we spoke to had a different story. Everything was was uh, was situational. I could tell you there were over a half a dozen suspects that were interviewed. Dozens of witnesses were interviewed. There was a lot of people that were spoken to by our major crimes unit. It went on and on and on. And with all of that information, it still is a cold case. But it's a cold case the agency refuses to give up on. A reward of up to $5,000 is still on the table for anyone who knows who murdered Maples. You know, somebody out there knows something. And this is the type of case the closure is necessary by somebody that may have a little bit of information. And just like any other case, you're, you're going to have, it's, it's like a, a puzzle. Somebody has a little bit here, somebody's got a little bit there. If you have the smallest bit of information regarding this case, you are urged to contact the Santa Rosa County Sheriff's Office. In Santa Rosa County, Amber Spradley, News 13 Panhandle Strong.